huge. Uh, Zach hit some very timely threes for us. And, uh, and Kellen played excellent tonight, especially the first half. He was a big reason why we got out to that halftime lead was the way that he was playing defense and rebounding for us and, and starting that break. Talk about um, Brandon and how his development. Um, you know, early in the season, he wasn't getting a lot of minutes, but now obviously hey, he's moving in here, practice uh, and in WG critical times, no bigger station. Yeah. yeah, well, he's come a long way. Um, you know, he's just very inexperienced. He, uh, you know, for, for a freshman, he had a lot to learn this year. And early on, we tried to throw him out there, but, you know, he would make his mistakes. And so it was kind of one of those things where, you know, you throw him out, you give him a taste of it for a few minutes, but, you know, he'll do a couple good things and then he'll do a few bad things. And uh, as the season's gone on, he's done more and more good things and fewer bad things. And, and Zach, uh, another kid that didn't play a lot of minutes yeah. early, but, you know, he's made meaningful Huge contributions. Down yeah, I can't say enough about Zach tonight. Um, I mean, the kid, he just has guts. You know, he just, he, he has, uh, he has a lot of heart and he wasn't afraid or intimidated in the least. And, um, you know, he, he, he stepped up and didn't even hesitate at a couple of those shots that he knocked down for us. At the end, though, it got a little dicey. Uh, turnovers, uh, some poor shot selection. Uh, what do you attribute that to? Well, you know, I, number one, Frontier's good. They're a good team. And uh, Taylor's a good player. They started getting it down to him a little bit, and you know it was almost uh, how you know what happened when we were at Frontier. You feel that momentum shifting. They start feeding off of that momentum, and we started getting a little discouraged. And you know, a couple, you know, one or two, you know, good plays for them and bad for us turned into five or six. And uh, luckily, they ran out of time. So um, playing the falls again. Um, I think this is the eighth time here. Uh, seven of them, which will be in the final. Um, seems like it's seems to be destined. To every year for you guys to play at this time of year? Well, we're looking forward to it. Um, you know, it, this time of year, every every game, every step of the way, you play a team that's a little bit better. And Saturday, we'll play a team that's a little bit better than we played tonight. And uh, hopefully we can, you know, we can come out and, and play a better game than we did tonight because that's what you need to do this time of year. I know you're different, they're different, uh, but uh, just the falls in Jamestown on a Saturday night here in this arena, I mean, that's got to conjure some special moments and a, a special matchup. Well, you know, it's it's uh, it's why we do the things we do. You know, it's, it's motivation for the whole off season when we're, you know, we're in the gym at 8 o'clock on a, on a Thursday morning um, is because of, you know, nights like Saturday. And uh, so I'm looking forward to it. I know the kids are looking forward to it. Um, you know, there's, we have obviously a lot of new faces than we had last year, and so I, I, I'm happy for the kids that we've gotten to this point. And now, you know, now we just need to go out and, and play aggressive and play loose and, and have fun, and, and uh, you know, hopefully we can uh, play good basketball Saturday. You, you 